Hey everybody, I wanted to do a quick tutorial today on how to make a washi dashboard using my brand new Simply Gilded subscription box that I got yesterday. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the card that came in the box. I do this every single time and I absolutely love it. Um, they're nice to just tuck into your planners. They're a good size, but they're not overly large. Sorry, I went and grabbed my other planner so I could kind of show you guys what they look like when you've done it. Usually I just have it tucked into my planner. I'm actually not seeing it right now, but basically it'll end up looking like this just on the back of that card so you can tuck it in wherever you want to. Um, so today I thought I would, I was getting ready to do it, so I thought maybe it would be a good time to take a video and show everybody how it's done. That way you guys can have some fun with yours. So today I'm going to be using the Simply Gilded Sub Box. Um, I got that yesterday. It's got a ton of really gorgeous washi tape in here, um, including our add-ons. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to take that card that was in that box and to, we're going to go ahead and wash you the back of it so that we can decide um, what we want to do with it. So the first thing that you're going to need is obviously your washi, your card. I like these bow seals. I like to stick them on the washi card someplace. I think they're really pretty. Um, and you're also going to need a pair of scissors. So make sure that you have that ready. Um, one thing that I like to use is actually one of my old silhouette cutting mats because it's nice to be able to cut on it. This one is kind of broken, so um, it needs to be taped up, but this will kind of do what it needs to do for right now. Um, plus it's sticky, so it stops it from moving around. This one in this case is not real super sticky, um, but I'm gonna throw it away so it's not like it does, it doesn't hurt to use it. So um, we're gonna go ahead and just kind of stick that down. Then we're gonna take a look at our washi and I'm gonna see where I wanna get started. Um, the one thing that I absolutely love is this moth washi. Definitely some of the small washi. And we're gonna do some of that and definitely probably some of that for sure. I don't really plan out so much of a game plan. I definitely start with like a one that I really love. Um, and I think we're gonna start with that moth washi first and then we'll see kind of where we end up with. I usually will start in the middle. So let's go ahead and open up. Opie up. I'm so smart. Now open up that mat, moth washi. Simply Gilded kind of, oh, I love Simply Gilded, but they open weird for me. Um, and because this one is facing up, this is the up. I'm going to turn, well, I guess I can leave the mat now that that fell off there. I'm going to turn it so it's upside down because when I start rolling it out the way that I roll washi, the moths are going to be a different way. So I usually roll out the centerpiece first. This isn't exactly center, but you get the idea. Um, I roll it longer so that it tapes it down on there and we can kind of see what we're working with. Um, let's go ahead and open up this other washi real quick. I think I'm gonna do the smaller gold next. And I'll probably time lapse some of this just so that you guys don't have to sit here for ever while I figure out what washi I want and where do I want it um, so that you guys can kind of go from there. So I really like this gold washi. We're going to make sure that we use that um, because it is so bright. I don't think I'm going to use a ton of it, but it is really pretty. Now I tend to not do the same thing on all sides. So like, because I did gold over there, I'm not gonna do gold over here. I feel like it's gonna be too much. Um, so I'm probably gonna whip out some of this tiny washi and we'll see which ones I wanna use. These ones are a little bit different in the color scheme, I think, um, but they're probably some of my favorite washi that I've gotten so far. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and It's pretty easy to line them up um, when you do it. I don't like to waste a lot of washi because you end up cutting off that stuff that goes around the end like that. Um, I kind of wish I had a really thin gold washi like that because it's really pretty, but maybe we can do the pink washi right here. 
got like a vine kind of design to it like the bracelet did. And see, so you'll just line it up. It's really honestly very easy to do these and it's a good use for the washi. Um, Cause God knows we don't use all that washi um, at all. So let's open up this Stardust one, which is probably also one of my favorites so far from this box. I really like the add-on washi, really like the Stardust, and I really like the Moth. Um, those are all super pretty. And we'll probably use some of them more than once. I definitely like to use just like the kind of statement or the, the big one. And then I'll try to kind of match it up where I want the next one at. Sometimes it doesn't look good, sometimes it does. So sometimes I end up pulling it up and putting something else there. And this one, it's too close. Sorry if you get my head in here. This one is a little weird to line up, I think. I just don't want it, I want it to look straight, but I don't want it to look awkward. I think we're gonna go ahead and put this one right over here as well. And then I might do that gold foil again. And you may even open up and do the other gold foil actually, cause it's a little bit thicker. I guess we'll, we'll see where we're sitting at when that comes up. Like I said, I like to mix and match them a lot. I don't really have any rhyme or reason on how I do this. They usually end up looking okay, or at least okay enough to me that they're functional for what my use is anyway. So I don't wanna overuse the moth washi just because I feel like it wouldn't look right, but I do wanna use it because of how pretty it is. And so we're going to try to use this new blue washi. All of this stuff is so pretty. I love this kind of like coppery rose gold that they've got going on. I think it's gorgeous. So many bows, so little time, guys. So many bows. You'll notice some of them I use a little bit more on the ends. There's really no rhyme or reason to why I do it that way. It's honestly just the, the way that it kind of ends up. Do we want some of this in there? I don't know if we, it really matches so much. I'm not really sure. And we got two moths. We have two golds. A couple of those. I don't really go like according to that at all, but I do like to kind of, I guess, kind of do it so I can see a little bit of everything. Um, I don't know how I feel about this one. I kind of feel like maybe the gold, full gold would be the way to go with that, but I don't really, I don't really know because this one's kind of in the middle and so is that one. I hate to just like use up too much of it at all. Um, let's try to see how another moth would look. Sounds like maybe I'm not gonna be doing time lapse with you guys because I keep, keep running commentary here so y'all get to listen to me talk about a bunch of nothing basically so I don't really have anything to talk about I just ramble in any case I hope you love these they're super fun and easy to make you can do it with any kind of washi it doesn't have to be simply gilded it can be literally any kind of washi you can find Anything that you would think looks good, go ahead and use it. I'm going to use some more of that, I think. I like the Stardust. It just looks really pretty. Like, I love Simply Gilded's bows. Who doesn't love Simply Gilded's bows? That's kind of a dumb question. But I really love the variations of different washi that you can get all over. Um, obviously, you've got, like, Simply Gilded, Fox and Pip. Uh, Fox and Cactus, created it, Creativity and Ink. Those are just a few things off the top of my head. Um, that doesn't even capture even remotely the sheer number of washi makers out there. Um, I know like Washi Tape Warrior has a ton of wizard washi um, and so does Paper House. So if you're looking for 
wizard washi, then that would be the way to go. One thing I like to do too, is if I don't have enough washi use, like to use on this, I like to do a, um, let's try this one. I like to use my samples. I love swapping samples with people because I get such pretty washi, but I'll never use the whole roll. So doing a sample swap is honestly my favorite because I can get washi that I otherwise wouldn't have gotten had I not done the washi swap because sometimes it's like the really high dollar or hard to find washi and then sometimes it's not. So this is a big spot here, so I'm just going to use a little bit of the moth washi again, just so I can cover that little spot. I don't think it'll be too overwhelming with that. Let's see here. There we go. I'm having a hard time getting it off there. Because you're not really, I'm going to do it to where you can see like that one. But other than that, you're not really going to see anything. So we're going to do that on the same side here. All right, so that is kind of how that goes. Now, I'm just gonna go ahead and take, this is actually not a knife, but it's like half of my kitchen shears. And I'm just gonna take and try to cut around the card. And I'll show you why in a second. It's almost like cutting it out. And see, you can see it's cutting through the washi. And then what we'll do, and it's not gonna cut through all the washi, so that's kind of to be expected that you're still gonna have a few pieces that are hanging around, um, especially towards the end like that. So I went ahead and cut it out. And you can see like that's the leftovers. Then I'm gonna take my actual scissors, which I could have used part of those scissors to go through. Whoops, I guess you guys can't see what I'm doing next, can you? Hopefully you could in the other one. I was not standing like I normally am in the video. So I'm just kind of guessing and hoping that you guys could see what I was doing. And then obviously I like to flip it over so I can see what I've missed. Plus because Simply Gilded has these rounded corners, I wanna be able to make sure I've got it rounded off without using a round corner rounder. Just just because I don't want to cut into the card at all. And other people might do this differently. This is just how I do it. All right, that is done. And this is where my bow seals come in. And you can look like these all have a different variation. I really, 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 whoops, got washy everywhere. I like to stick them right down in the bottom. I think they just look really pretty actually. Um, and you can, at that point, like everything is done. So if you open up your planner, you've got your dashboards. I stick little things in there. And I don't have anything there yet. So I may end up sticking it in there so that I can see it. And if you look, like I've kind of already got the moth theme going on in here. So it works out pretty well. So I'm going to stick it actually under there. And if you can see some of the tape rolled up. Usually it's really nice. What it's good to do is like laminate it after, but we're not going to laminate it today. So that's what it looks like. You just tuck it inside. And I've got other cards that are just kind of tucked into my planner here and there. Um, and it makes it really nice. So that's kind of how I do my washi dashboards. And I use just the Simply Gilded mix from this month. And then you can kind of make your own. Thank you guys for tuning in to my rambling. Um, in case you noticed, even just talking, getting my stuff around, the whole project took about 15 minutes total. So, and that, I mean, again, that's with me rambling and talking and I'm not even up to 15 minutes. So it's a quick, easy project and it really adds a lot of color and brightness to any of your, you know, your planners or really anything. You could hang it up if you wanted to. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in.